guys and welcome back to this week's episode of Tink Tink. So for this week's video, I am super excited because one, we have a toy review and two, it's Harry Potter themed. So I'm specifically excited about this particular toy because it combines the concept of Harry Potter spells with an introduction to programming. So before I go ahead and open up this box, let me show you guys a close up of what it says and then we'll open it up and see what's inside. So this is how the box looks like up front. On the left hand side here, you see that it says build a coding wand, learn to code, 70 plus step by step challenges you can play with either your tablet or your computer. So this is definitely a cool intro to coding kit. So definitely check their products out. So at the very top, it tells you that it comes with coding wand parts, simple steps, buttons, lanyards, batteries, and so on. It says that it works with most tablets, Macs, and Windows 10 PCs. And I'm guessing you're gonna have to download some sort of app when you use this particular toy. All right. On the left hand side, it pretty much says that you're building the wand yourself. The batteries are included for this particular toy product. It senses speed, gravity, and direction. Follow the steps, making a coding wand that responds to your movement. And over here, it gives you a sample of how you're gonna be piecing together those coding languages. Pretty much says here, with a simple code, you can levitate feathers and there are 70 different types of spells you can do where it teaches you just the basics of coding. You wave your coding wand, make objects fly, fire flow, pumpkins grow, paint pictures, compose music, and more. And then over here you unlock rewards, create your own avatar. <gasps> I didn't know that, that's really cool. And you can earn new costumes. And there's endless play, remix code by a creative community. So yep, that is how that side looks like. But yeah, let's go ahead and open this baby up. Oh my god. How pretty is that? There you go. Let's go ahead and open that up. Wow, this is really fancy. <laughs> Super fancy, okay. It has like a cool, oh no, that was probably because I kept, I don't know what this piece is for, but I'm gonna put that back in that hole. Let's do a close-up of this. <gasps> That's probably what this piece is for. This fits there. <gasps> There's more. It comes with like all these stickers. How cool is that? It also looks like it comes with like a poster. Quick guide to wand motions. Really, really cool. So this book says how to make a coding wand. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this and kind of just assemble everything for you guys. And we'll pick up when it's fully assembled. Stay tuned. Once you follow the directions and assemble the wand, you should have something that looks like this. So if you're like me and you tend to drop anything that you're holding, it's good to add the lanyard on it so that in the case that it falls, it's still good and it won't hit the ground. Test out your wand a couple more times, and once you're comfortable, it's ready to go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and launch the app. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this star here, create magical sparks. Okay, launch this up. So create sparks using your coding wand. Is it registering my wand? There. So drag the block onto your coding space. So let's drag the wild particle fizz right there on the illuminated orange section. Change black to green. Green. So your coding wand has an LED we can code. Drag this block onto your code space to light up the LED. <gasps> it's gonna light up. Look down at your coding wand. It's illuminating. It's green and red, and green and red. All right, let's try one more activity. We're gonna go down to the Quidditch pitch. We're gonna summon a boomstick. So let's see how much of a natural I am. In this challenge, you will use a motion like that of the ASIO, ASIO spell to activate code and add a broom to the canvas. See, now I'm starting to doubt how big of a Harry Potter fan I actually am because I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these correctly. 
drag this block onto your code space, open the objects tray, drag this block onto the bottom here, change owl into broomstick, broomstick one. Okay, hold the button on your coding wand, make the ASIO shape, and then release the button at the end of your motion. Okay. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. again, again. Two broomsticks. Three, four, and five. Five broomsticks. So I am finally level five. I summoned a new object. I created some fireworks. I did all that. So now let's do play. And we're gonna do this thing that looks like aliens right here. Okay, so we're gonna make the Grindylows move up by waving your coding wand up and move down by waving your coding wand down. Up and down. <gasps> That's so mean, they just... Oh. So we're gonna do one more play mode. What do we wanna do? We want to make these pumpkins grow, is what I'm thinking. We center. Bigger. Nope. Bigger. Bigger. <gasps> Big. All the... Pumpkins. <laughs> or like <laughs> That's enough. Oh my god, I'm gonna break my wand. So I'm not gonna click every single option that there is on this particular app, but just trust me when I say that there's a lot of different options here. Like I mentioned earlier, if you click the challenges section, you're led to um, this area where you can pretty much level up as a witch and kind of try out the different challenges that they have. And I'm guessing with each challenge, you unlock a separate feature that you can actually do with the wand, which is pretty cool. The explore section, I actually saw this earlier. It's an area where you can see the different uploads that people from all around the world uploaded essentially. And it's like creations that people made. And if you personally want to do something as well yourself, you can click the create section. This is pretty much where you would make your own program or code. If you ever want to go back to anything that you made in the past, you can click my creations and everything is there. And last but not least, as I mentioned before, this is the play section where you can essentially try out pre-programmed games that the app already has. And yeah, it's pretty cool. All right guys, so final thoughts. When I originally did the review section of this, I totally forgot that the mic was pointing the opposite way, so we're gonna try this again. I honestly think this toy is super cool, especially if you're trying to get um, familiar with programming um, and you want it to be a little bit more interactive, this is a really cool way to do it. Again, I'm a little biased because I'm a really big Harry Potter fan, so I am gonna rate this toy a 9 out of 10. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.